squirrels or squirrels, 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 squirrels. Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, the place where I, a wild animal biologist and lover of pulp culture, often combine my passions into one. Today, we're gonna explore how a viral YouTube video actually helped scientists discover the mechanics of a real life superpower of squirrels. And yes, I'm actively trying to pronounce squirrel and squirrel because I've lived in the UK eight years and I get mocked incessantly for pronouncing it squirrel one syllable. So you ready? Join the safari and let's get started. So to get the whole picture, I think we ought to hop in our TARDIS and go back about three years ago to when a YouTuber documented his attempts to squirrel proofing his bird feeder. This guy took things to a whole new level. He actually created an obstacle course a la Ninja Warrior style for these unsuspecting squirrels. Now part of this course actually involved catapulting said cheeky yet unsuspecting squirrels off of a trap which led them to find themselves in the air and suddenly rotating about. Now, if I were to be caught off guard and sent by a catapult into the air, I can assure you, I most certainly would not land on my feet. But we all know Maui would, right? Now, while both the scientist and myself don't agree with catapulting squirrels into the air, they were able to use that footage for science because these common gray squirrels were able to show off their superpower, their tails. No, not their storytelling ability, their tails. Yes, those fluffy things. So scientists use this video to analyze that the squirrels first use their tail to oddly enough help stabilize their head so that they can visually fix a landing site. Then their tail starts to rotate to help stabilize their body, thus preparing themselves for landing. But that wasn't enough for the scientists. After analyzing the video, they took it a step further and built a multi-body squirrel model to dive deeper into the mechanisms of the tail to then help them build a squirrel-like robot to demonstrate this fall stabilizing experiment rather than, of course, catapulting more squirrels into the air that would never get through an ethics committee. The results show that even though a squirrel's tail is only 3% of their body mass, it plays a huge and important part in stabilizing a rapidly rotating body. Which begs the question, why would squirrels or squirrels have this superpower in the first place? Surely it's not purely so that they can go viral on YouTube, but rather because life is quite tough for squirrels. As they are an arboreal species, living life in the trees, things can get pretty sketchy if you're spending a lot of time along branches on the hunt for food, because that can be risky as narrow and flexible branches may break and at rather unsuspecting times say when you're trying to reach out for that particular acorn. Therefore, it's super important that squirrels are able to stabilize themselves and prepare for landing while airborne. Squirrels also use their tails for communication, particularly alerting others if there is danger nearby. But we can't forget about the amazing flying squirrels. They use their tails while airborne as well, albeit in a different way, more like a rudder while they're soaring. And then when it comes time to land, use their tails as a brake. But what do you think about this superpower of squirrels? Would you find it useful to have a tail that could help you reorientate yourself while in midair before having a crash landing? I certainly would. I'm very clumsy. If you enjoyed this video, why not give it a thumbs up? And to keep your adventure going, check out the rest of my spooky series from a long time ago when I first started my channel and they're delightfully, frightfully, uh, awkward. Go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.